Welcome back everybody to another playthrough. The game that we'll be playing today is Need for Speed Most Wanted. We are playing the demo and we are going to check this game out and see what it's all about. And hopefully it will impress me by the end of our peak play session. So let's go ahead, let's see what they want to show off. And uh, usually with a freaking, oh of course, Origin. I should have known. EA. Ooh. That's kind of fun. It's got to be fun with that. I have never really used Origin. I I never never touched Origin. Uh, I maybe had to verify one thing, and that was pretty much about it. But a lot of people were um, when I heard about this game. Well, not heard about this game, but when I was hearing about it when it came out, people were telling me that you can't play this game offline. Someone that I'm following on YouTube is able to play this game offline by once you're done verifying it. You can literally like, knock out your Xbox Live, and you're able to play it offline. So, I don't know how he did it, but he does it. <laughs> so, I guess you can beat that system. You can play it offline if you really want to. Hey, it's Muse. Yep, yeah, I think this is Muse. Muse. Oh man, is this video gonna get flagged though? <laughs> Cause it has it has copyright music. It's not like I'm monetizing this movie or uh, not not movie, but this video. But yeah, EA games. Welcome to the city oh, here of Fairhaven, home to the most intense street racing on the planet. Ooh. Ten drivers rule these streets. Always on Ten. the run from the cops, they drive the best cars and dominate the city. They are the most wanted. My God! To join this elite group. You'll need to earn the right to race them, beat them all, and you'll be number one. Fairhaven's most wanted driver. Is that me? No, to do that's that, not me. You'll need cars. Waiting for them to throw me Lots into the game. Of cars. Spread out across the city are some of the hottest cars ever made. If you can find them. You can drive them. To own one, simply drive up to a jack spot and Ooh, jump in. Ooh, Austin Martin. Yeah, I'm an Austin Follow Martin the route guy. Marked on your map to your first car. Love me the some Austin Martin. Are waiting. Oh yeah, I get to drive an Austin Martin at the first thing. Oh, okay. I don't want to destroy the Austin Martin. That would be a bad thing. Right. Can I change the... Uh... Oh, they only have two? Hey, I'm going to play it like that. I like looking at my car, but I'll do that. So far, it, it con controls are a little tight feel a little weird. Overall, it doesn't feel... It's definitely arcadey, though. Here, just one second. I'm gonna turn down the audio for that. There we go. Is that a jack? No, oh, it's a repair spot. Oh, it changes my uh, color. You found your Oh, it took car. control. There are many out there waiting for you. Just look for the vehicles with badges above them. Hit the button to switch. I don't know. I want to stick with my Austin Martin. <laughs> ah, fine. Can I stick with it though? I would like Every to stick car with you it. find has its own set of races. Oh. These can be accessed at any time using Interesting. Easy Drive. Choose Set Destination to find your first race. So a route to the start line will appear on your map. Follow it to the race start. Uh, sure, we'll do that. Set Destination. So that's cool. They allow, they want you to use like every car in the game. Every car in the game has its own races. That's actually really cool. I like that. To start the race. Pull up to the checkpoint and spin your wheels. Oh, it's one of those. 
<laughs> All right, so what are we doing now? Keys to the city, finish first. You get off-road tires. And, oh, all right. <laughs> all right, so let's finish first. Bring it on, boy. There we go. Oh, crap. Whee! Um, I'm not getting anywhere closer to him. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to beat this guy. Oh, wait. I'm getting closer. Oh, past you. Past you, son. What you going to do about it? Oh, crap. Oh. That was close. Uh, come on. Uh, <laughs> uh, getting used to the turns is so weird. This feels like burnout. This does feel like burnout. It's the same guys, Criterion. So they definitely have that, that flair of... That, did I get it? I think I got it. All right, I'm good. Try not to slow down at all. There we go. Finish. Woo! Man, I destroyed that guy. He's so far behind. So I got oh, I got burn nitrous. So I got some nitrous and I got some off-road tires. I love Finishing it. first or second wins mods for your car. It's very arcadey. Fit it, these immediately it for an good. instant upgrade. So I got use an upgrade. Easy drive later to change your tires, nitrous, chassis, body, or transmission. Hmm. Speed points take you up the most wanted list, and racing is just one way to win them. Pick up more by smashing through billboards, blasting past speed cameras, destroying security gates, or escaping the cops. Autolog tracks every speed point you earn. The more you earn, the closer you get to taking on the most wanted drivers Q -Q. and dominating your friends. Very interesting. Want to check your progress? Easy Drive is there to help you hunt down all the challenges across the city. What happens next is up to you. So, how do I bring up these? Okay. So, I bring up e Easy Drive with the right D pad, right on the D pad. Let's do customize tires. So, okay. So, when I change the tires. It decreases acceleration and control goes off, but if I'm doing an off-road race, it boosts it dramatically. That's pretty cool. I'll keep it with stock for now. Let's see, track. Oh, all five events were. So there's like five events of this car then. Interesting, I guess. That's what it's telling me. Let's see, nitrous, chassis. What? What the heck happened? Can I not look at the chassis? Stock. Okay. So, in order to do that, I need to get gold burn. Body. I uh, can't change it. And transmission. So, transmission, body. Uh, yeah, chass yeah, chassis. Yeah, chassis. And that's it. Uh, it can change the car at any time. Wait, was I not driving uh Was I not driving an Oh wait, is that a new one? Hey, what are you what are you doing? I think I got a new car. Or unless that's Oh yeah, I did. Cool. I'm not much of an Audi guy. Spider though. I know the spiders. Spider series. Let's do that. Set destination. Oh, oh, you suck. <laughs> driving like a driving like a true Californian. <laughs> uh, all the Californians are pissed off. <laughs> it's like uh, we don't drive like that. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> I 
Speed camera, only 74 miles per hour. Ah, so to do boost, I uh, press, press and hold down. Oh, hey. Oh, that sucked. All right, good, 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 good. Oh, that is not what I wanted. 90 miles per hour. Hey, is that something? Oh, hey, car. <laughs> Watch, I'm just going to collect cars throughout this whole entire thing. Come on, collect it. Now. New car. New car. Now. How do I, how do I get it? I want to do it. Oh, I have to buy the full game to drive the car. <laughs> that sucks. I can't just collect cars. All right, here we go. Woo! Oh man, I like the, I do like the sense of, oh, this is better though. You get more of a sense of speed when you're on this view. I'm a little ticked off they don't have a co cockpit mode. You can't, you can't drive in the, uh, on the, in the wheel. I, I'm very disappointed in that. And I don't, I don't know, I'm not much of a behind the car guy. So I probably will stick with this when I'm doing it. Woo! All right. We'll do like uh, one more race and then we'll give our nice little uh, feel of, how do we feel about this and whatnot? I know I've all, I'm only giving this game 20 minutes, but I think I got the general, I just need to get the feel of how the game does and figure out uh, what are the other things. I think I got the general, general, general gist of what this game is trying to throw at me and how it feels. It's definitely Need for Speed, but Burnout. And I think I like that. Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go. Oh man, I like this. Oh, the sense of spin. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Uh, can I catch up? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, screw you. <laughs> oh, am I in the right one? Oh, I was. Cool. Oh, no! Stupid pedestrian. <laughs> oh, that sucked. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, bad way to start me off the race. Cops might win you speed points, but it also gets the cops attention. Oh, the no. Escape, they will try and bust you. Oh, the cops are on me now. That's not good. It's hard to see in this mode, though. Has been in oh! Yeah, that was a hit. Let's finish this. Whoa! Dispatch the suspects now back on the road. Oh, we're gonna lose them. These guys are good. Let's try and pin this suspect. Whoa! Oh! Oh, I gotcha! Go, go, go! I'm still in fifth? It sucks. And four units are on route. Fourth. Come on, there we go. This is definitely 1044. Have we got these guys on file? Over. 104, duty will authorize. Go, go, go. Get out of my way. Oh, I took him down. Good job, Vince. Good job. I'm gonna get the first. I'm gonna get first. Go, go, go. Hell yeah, I'm getting better at this. Has been assigned in joining pursuit. So crazy out here, I don't have a count on the races. I'm getting better. Oh, we're gonna lose them. These guys are good. I'm starting to know this track too. Back on the road, back on the road. There we go. How many laps are there? Uh, oh yeah, I'm on the last one. Yeah, baby! Heck yeah! Track tires, got a short gear, whatever. 
Awesome. That was actually pretty good. I like that. Alrighty then. We will, I guess... Let's see. Yeah, let's apply those. I like that. And do I want to apply short gear? Oh, okay. So the acceleration goes up, but your top speed goes down. Um, the acceleration's already pretty high enough as it is. I will not sacrifice that. I will skip that one. Uh, you know what? I think we are pretty good on, uh, oh crap. I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll test this out. See how hard or easy it is to get rid of, uh, cops. Alright. So it works. Uh oh. Come on. Drop down. There's a bar. I'm looking at it. Oh, really? I guess I have to unlock the full game to play that. That stinks. Ah, uh, they gave us a horn. That's not good. That sound sounds good. Alright though, but this is I guess the part where I will tell you how I feel about the game now. Uh, one second. <laughs> had, to, had to do something. Alright, okay. So, how do I feel about this when it compared to other Need for Speeds and even the Burnout games? Because these are the people that made the Burnout games. Um... Let me turn that down so I can do that. Okay. When it compared, when it is compared to like Burnout games and all that, it definitely does feel like it. Um, it's not. It it definitely tries to capture the speed of Burnout. It just doesn't seem as fast. Probably because I don't have the fastest car in the game and all that. But when you're like in, the camera is usually what gives you the sense of speed when you're lower to the ground like uh, let me see let me show you like when you're really close to the ground you get that sense of speed and I think this is a better view because if this game is all about speed why not get closer to the ground I would go in that middle range where I would want to be in the cockpit like pretty much in the driver's seat I want to be in the driver's seat I think the cockpit is probably the wrong word for that but I want to be in that seat to where it feels like, you know, feels like I'm actually the one driving. <laughs> I've always been like that. I always play the games like that. If they don't have that, I'm always in this camera angle. Because when you're in this camera angle, you lose that sense of speed. Although it still feels like you're driving fast, but it doesn't feel that correct amount of uh, attention to detail when it comes to the, the camera effects and just that. Just to see the ground come as fast to you as possible, to see objects just blurring past you, is kind of a thrill in, on its own. So, without that, it, it kind of sucks, you know, having more options when it comes to camera. At least getting a little bit closer when you're in the back, like here. When it pulls away, when the camera pulls away from the car, gets a little bit higher, yeah, you start to lose that you start to lose that that feeling of speed and craziness <laughs> so but o overall the game feels really nice I like the driving it's definitely feels like oh hello oh I gotta there's lots of cars I've noticed that and I actually do like um, I definitely like the that they treated races and all that they gave every car their set of races to where the races are proper and they are set to pretty much what the car needs because if you try and like I notice a lot of racing games fall into the traps to where you're doing like okay there's a race specifically meant for very fast cars and for once, like, uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what game does this in a very bad way. And, um, for example, I was driving a truck. I don't know why I was driving a truck, but I entered a race and I was racing against a whole bunch of, like, supercars. Cars usually not street legal type of cars. And, um, uh, I, 
I felt so under, <laughs> so underprepared. It's like I didn't know this race was going to be supercars and all that. This is what kind of defeats that and actually gives me. <laughs> I like how I do that, but it actually gives it a better, better perspective into like, okay, I don't have to worry about what car I have because every car has its own races. I really like that and it definitely gets, gets that worry out of my head. I also like um, that there are, there are plenty of cars that, so that means like, okay, I don't know if it tells you how many cars there are in the game, but for right now, I'm thinking, okay, there are plenty of car companies out there, so most likely every car company that's there, most likely they have at least five to ten cars, and I've noticed that there are at least an average of five races per car, so I really do think they probably have an average of about 50 to 100 races, or even more. I'm noticing that, well, since it's EA, they're probably going to release a whole bunch of downloadable content for that so they'll probably have car packs um and a whole bunch of like race car uh race tracks and i don't know it just depends on how they do it i don't really know how they're going to treat dlc but i'm thinking they're going to throw a whole bunch of like packs for like okay you're going to have your ford pack you're going to have your porsche pack and everything else like that and um i'm kind of hoping they might I, I know criterion probably won't do it I'm kind of hoping they might throw in an update or maybe at least some DLC that's free that will maybe will add in the driver seat uh, perspective. I don't think they're going to do it though. But that's the only beef that I have with this game is that it just doesn't have that. The game feels solid. The graphics look, they're, they look pretty good. It's not, it definitely look, doesn't go to that uh, visual perspective and that it looks really good when it comes to games like Dirt or Shift and all that because those games look really nice and especially like Forza or G uh, Gran, Gran Turismo 4 uh, yeah the newest Gran Turismo f yeah yeah Gran Turismo 5 <laughs> I totally forgot because it's been such a long time since I've touched any Gran Turismo game um, but the latest Gran Turismo I should say and um when it compared to those games, it, it's okay, but um, yeah, it's fun. I love uh, I love that. Although it doesn't have, I've noticed that it doesn't have the rubber band effect. I hate the rubber band effect when it comes to racing games, and it looks like they've tossed that away. So that's good. Um, I think the only thing that probably has rubber band effect is probably the police when you're trying to go away, get away from them, and all that. Because I think the I think you need to somehow lose them when you're going from intersections to, uh, you know, just cross sections and all that. So, yeah, overall, I'll give this game a solid rent. Um, it might not be for everyone. If you don't like arcade racing games or you didn't like the Burnout series or just what, <laughs> or if you just don't like EA and, um, and you also don't like the fact that they don't have the driver's seat, uh, perspective, but if that doesn't bug you though, if none of those bug you, um, definitely pick it up, rent it, and if you really definitely enjoyed uh, what you've played and if you beat the game, I definitely see a huge amount of replayability. Uh, leaderboards is definitely intriguing for a lot of people, and if you're one of those people that love uh, competing with your friends, definitely do that because... Um, I think that's going to be the main focus in this compared uh, like with all the other racing games now is that if you have a lot of friends that play these games and if you see a lot of people that have this game on your uh, uh, your leaderboards and all that I I would probably suggest by maybe buying it once it maybe either drops in price or if you want to support this even more uh, definitely support Criterion because they're an awesome company that creates really good driving games and uh it definitely gives it definitely gave me the vibes of uh uh what do you call it um uh, burnout paradise that is the game that really really uh kind of made me flash back to you so if you actually if you really enjoyed uh burnout paradise i think and this is your next game to pretty much pick up and play 
although it might not have a large amount of things that it had in Burnout Paradise, it still holds that core value of what Burnout had. Even though it's a Need for Speed game, it you know it's Criterion. That's all you really need to know. So yeah, strong rent uh, like a a solid rental. And I will be renting this game as well. Like, whatever I give you, I'm going to do just the same. So, um, yeah, if I like this, I haven't I haven't bought a uh, racing game in a while. So, it's either between this game and Forza 4. So, I will give you guys a post on the website telling you what game I like better. So, maybe later... Um, Earlier in 2013, I will tell you guys if I uh, which one I liked better. <laughs> so compared to because I know they're different, but you know, usually when it comes to our arcade versus arcade, or it could be simulator, it usually goes arcade or simulator. So I don't know. All right, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely comment down below on what you thought about the game, and if you played the game, definitely uh, leave your uh, yeah long or short opinions down. And I will uh, hopefully, you know, if I do a video on my other channel, I will definitely share your opinions if you want me to. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy yourself.